All right. So we have a lot of people here today. I'm really excited. I am Diana Robles and I'm a board member for Infant Massage USA. And I just wanted to remind you of the reason we're here. And during our year end season of nurturing, we emphasize the importance of touch and how you can be part of creating nurturing touch and communication in your community. Please join us in our mission to promote nurturing, nurturing touch and communication through training, education, and research. To continue providing the best to our members and community, we're asking for your support during this season of nurturing through any donation amount or sharing our fundraiser with your network by joining or creating a fundraising team. I'm going to show a really short little promo video about our season of nurturing. I'm sorry. That's one thing I forgot to do. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. All right, let me do this correctly here. Wow. All right, thank you for the reminders. I appreciate my team here. Okay, um, we are excited today because we have some amazing speakers. Um, hold on just a second, let me clear my screen so I can get back to where I was. Without a six piece band, you'd be in. Okay. All right, so. <clears throat> So you already saw that we have today, tomorrow, and the next day with amazing speakers. And today we have uh, Danny Vega and Francisco Cornejo, who themselves are going to speak and share their story. And they came to us and or, or we came to them to see if they could share with us about their experience with infant massage. Uh, early, they struggled with the anxiety of sleepless nights for the first year of their children's lives. Many of us can remember that. After a life-changing experience, Danny found the answer she was looking for in the power of the nurturing touch. And quote, she says, it's not about attention, it's about connection. They founded Storybook, an app that combines massage techniques and bedtime stories. And I see Francisco is here in the room. So Francisco, if you could please uh, share your story with us. Of course, my pleasure. Uh, hi, Diana. Uh, hello, everyone. It's a true pleasure and honor to be here sharing our story. Um, I prepared a quick slide. I, I want to show you some pictures and how our life has been. But uh, most importantly, I want to, to speak about this powerful um, thing that we have, uh, the, the nurturing touch, and, and how we came about it. So 
would like to keep this uh, as a two-way conversation. Please ask as many questions as you like, share your, your comments, your thoughts. And I, I know uh, many of you would have experienced so similar things in the past. So uh, yeah, it's about sharing. So more than happy to be here. Um, it, can I share my screen, Diana? Can you, can you uh, allow me to, to share it? I think, I think you should be able to give it a try. Oh uh, yeah, wonderful, now I can. Great, so I will run through a few slides, something really simple. Um, but I'm a very visual person, so it helps me uh, to, to keep my train of thought. So, um, yeah, well, first, Daniela won't be able to join. Uh, sadly, she, she has another uh, webinar right now, but um, this story has uh, as much to do with her as, as with me because it's about her family, uh, but she's the protagonist. So I'll, I'll do my best to, to uh, translate her, her feelings and, in, in this story. And, and, we uh, think we can talk about infant massage because uh, we created Storybook app. It's an app that uh, combines uh, infant massage, bedtime stories and music. Um, and we've been helping hundreds of, of thousands of parents to share more than 4 million minutes of infant, infant massage at their homes. So um, we, we learned a few things uh, over the last few years uh, about infant massage. But most importantly, we've seen what the experts and what the uh, families that use uh, these techniques tell us. Um, we've been lucky enough to, to work with um, the Touch Research Institute um, with Tiffany Field and, and most uh, frequently with her former student, Professor Marta Pelais. Both of them uh, have been studying uh, the power of touch for over three, four generations, uh, sorry, decades. And um, yeah, we, we've been constantly been recommended by uh, psychologists, uh, sleep trainers, um, infant massage trainers. Um, we have over 5,000 five-star reviews, but I want to tell you the first one, the first review, which is our family and our story. So we, um, this all comes down to, um, when we started our family. Um, we come from Ecuador, you can notice the accent. Um, we, we had a, a, a good life. We, we, I had a, a full-time job at a big corporation. Uh, we got married, we had uh, our two uh, first kids. Uh, and by the time they were, um, well, this is a picture of us now, but by, by the time they, they were, um, three and one, we decided to take a bold decision. Um, I was um, offered a, a, a scholarship by the Ecuadorian government to study my master's in any university I choose. And, and I chose um, RMIT, which is an university in Australia. So we took our, our belongings, we sold everything we had, we packed our life in a couple of bags, and switch from Ecuador to Australia. 14 hour uh, time zone difference and no family around. Like we were truly alone in the other side of the world, at least our world. And our kids were really young. Once we arrived in uh, Australia and we faced reality, we, we realized that it's gonna be tougher than we planned. And it was for the first year. Um, and here we are with kangaroos. And in the, in the first year of uh, our life in Australia, I was uh, doing my master's and I, I was taking a, a half-time job, but it was more hours than that. And, and I left home at 7 a.m., uh, came back at uh, 11 p.m. And Daniela was uh, left alone in an apartment with two babies, a one-year-old and a three-year-old, um, pretty much stuck. Uh, she didn't know the language. She didn't have friends. It, we, we were living on a really thin budget. Um, and she was all day with the kids. Uh, as the months went by, it, it became, became really tough on, on, on both of us. But she was taking the, the burden of uh, being with the kids and raising the kids all by herself. Um, so yeah, chaos uh, was uh, knocking at our door. Um, I remember arriving at home at 11 p.m. 
really tired and the kids were uh, still awake. Um, everything was chaos. Daniela was uh, crying, like, I don't know what else to do. Uh, this is becoming too tough on me. And um, it was a tough time. And we, we went through um, anxiety and, and our mental wellness was really weak. Um, she was something that she was really, really clear is that she was doing what she was supposed to do. The kids were uh, fed, cleaned, if they were eating at the proper times, like she was taking all the steps that, that she needed, but she didn't feel that she was connecting with them. Um, and of course, that took us to, to try and find, to find solutions. And it was a, a friend of her that mentioned a, about the infant massage. In, in, uh, Australia has a lot of influence, influence from Asia and in Asia, infant massage is a really common practice. And a nation friend told her like, you should learn about the infant massage. It's something that it's gonna help you. Uh, and she started uh, learning infant massage. She went to a, a, a class. And when, when she came back home, she was trying these techniques with the kids. And, but it, it, the real, realization she had uh, was when her teacher asked her this question. This was a, a transformational moment for her. Her uh, infant massage instructor asked her, Daniela, when did you connect it with your kids? And before she answered, like she was thinking, of course, when they were born. Um, but, but before she answered, her teacher told, told her, I'm not asking you when, when you love your kids. I'm asking you where, when did you connect with your kids? And she had no idea. Like she, she realized I'm not connecting with them. I, I, my kids, my oldest is going to be four and I don't feel I'm connecting with him. So, at this time, she was learning infant massage and she started putting these techniques in place and our life transformed. Like infant massage was truly a, a door to many other things that came after that. Um, now, I, when I show up at, at home at lo, uh, late at night, um, the kids were in bed, she was rested. Uh, the kids uh, were enjoying more of the time with her. They were starting to doing different things. She got to know them in a deep, more deep level. And it happened something that uh, we never uh, imagined, like the kids were fighting each other, who's going to bed first, because they wanted their um, massage with mom and mom used to tell them stories. So to make them more fun. Um, this is about the time we, we came up with the idea of story. We, we started seeing these benefits of infant massage and the kids love to, to, be, to, to hear the this, this stories about the the elephant that was walking in their backs or the flea that was jumping in their heads and this, this kind of um, ideas that Daniela had. Um, I remember to the day finding Daniela sitting on the floor with one of the kids in front of her and an iPad with some music, a book of uh, child stories, the um, book from the infant massage classes, baby oils, uh, candles. It was a full cir um, circus, like many things happening at the same time. And, and that's when, again, Daniela told me, it will be amazing to have an app that can help you and guide you through all these things so you can truly enjoy the moment. Um, so the, the, the greatest part of this is that we, we felt uh, the benefits in our whole family. Infant massage was a door to become more present parents or priorities shifted. We started to focus more on getting to connect with them, getting to, uh, know how they that how they feel uh, connecting a more meaningful level and and that of course shifted our whole uh, uh, future as a family uh, instead of focusing on, on my career and i want this corporate job i i we were uh, lucky enough to be able to dedicate our time and ourselves to take these wonders of uh, bonding to to other families and to the day we we keep looking at more ways of how we can help our kids and create a meaningful relationship with them. But the great, greatest thing I would say is that it, most of the times infant massage is associated with babies, uh, but we've seen the benefits uh, in the nurture, in this nurturing touch uh, throughout all ages. Um, our kids are now 10 and eight and, and we still see benefits. We, we taught them that they can self-regulate that they can regulate themselves when they need to. They can ask for help uh, in a, when we are in an amusement park in Disneyland or something like that. 
uh, and they are nervous about the ride, they ask us, mom, can, can you do me a, a, a face massage? My, my oldest loves face massage and Daniela is doing these strokes and, and he truly relaxed. But most importantly is that when they are, she is doing this massage the techniques to him or, or I am doing, there's no barriers between us. We are uh, physically connecting and, and that creates wonders in, in our relationships. And, and we have many other stories that how the, the, these techniques have helped us through uh, many challenges. My youngest, uh, Tomas, used to suck his thumb um, since their, his first echography, like it's the first thing that we saw him do. It was impossible to get rid of that uh, habit. We tried many, many things, like the things that you're not supposed to try, we tried everything. Um, and, and we love how, how this unfolded because around the time he was five and we already, already gave up, like we said, at some point he will stop doing that. But the, around the time he was five, um, he, he told Daniela, uh, Mom, I have an idea. I know how I, I, I can get to stop my, 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 this habit. I, and, I, and he told her, I, I feel the urge of sucking my tongue, especially when I'm sleepy. So next time when I'm sleepy, do a uh, massage to me. Uh, we use story for that. Um, do a massage to me and keep doing it until I'm asleep. In that way, I won't be sucking my tongue and I will forget about it. And we did that and he never came back to that habit. Like we tried that for a couple of, day, of nights and it was amazing. Like we, we tried years and years with m everything that the doctors recommended, everything that we did. But ultimately what he wanted was to feel less, less anxious. And he reached out to his mom for that at his young age. So that was an amazing story. And still now um, we are currently in the US um, in Miami and this again moving places creates stress to the kids and this is my oldest he's 10 now and he was so stressed about being uh, away from family again and, and meeting new kids and speaking the language that he was every day he woke up and told tell us I want to go back I want to go back to Ecuador I'm extremely stressed he was really frustrated but again, the, the bedtime routine that we have that includes this uh, meaningful moment um, helped, him, helped him through because we try to speak with him throughout the day and try to, to tell him all the positive things and try to be supportive of his feelings, but he was absolutely blocked. But this time of the day or, or the night, um, it was the, the time where his defense was low and he, he was truly able to communicate with us why he felt this way. And we were able to tell him, uh, give him advice in an open way where he was listening. So it's truly a time to bond and connect. And I can keep going about all the, the benefits we've seen and the reviews that we get about many families that are using this, this moment to overcome trauma, to, to help kids that have um, additional challenges. Like we, we get a lot of kids, uh, a lot of parents with kids uh, on the autism spectrum who, who use the, the massage techniques as a way of communication, just what, what I'm putting in this example as a way of communication. Uh, so being physically present to connect with your kid. And another thing that is happening here and that, that I really like is uh, when we uh, created Storybook, the first thing that we, we wanted is to use this device, this technology that is causing so much disconnection to actually connect people. So Storybook is a screenless app the kid won't be looking at the app. The parent won't be looking at social media. It's not like rubbing your kids back while you're reading something. The app is there at the side, but you are truly connecting with your kid. You're listening to him. You're starting a conversation with him. So again, it's a great communication channel. Um, and yeah, well, I, I, I went through that. I, I flew through that. It went really quick. Um, but I'm really happy to answer any uh, questions or comments that you may have. Francisco, my name is Justine. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I just want to say thank you. Just a thank you for 
um, sharing your family's story. And I can imagine that with the transition and moving, you know, now from country to country, um, that that must have been a great deal of stress on your family. So it's just heartwarming to hear that you used massage as a way to connect within your family. So I just wanted to say thank you. And it's a beautiful story about your family. Thank you so much. Thanks, Justine. And, and I'm sure many people can identify with this um, moving places and, and how you need some extra help. And we are just so lucky to found um, infant massage when, when we need it the most. It's a lovely way to put consistency in an inconsistent day, right? Like when things change and there's transition, massage can always be the common language and that consistent language that they can depend on. So yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you. Thanks so much. Anybody have any more questions? Um, I do. Anne Marie, yes. Uh, thank you so much. What a what a inspiring and hope filled uh, journey and message. I have a one and a half year old grandson, and unfortunately, mm -hmm. his parents were not open to infant massage. You know, I really really wanted them to do it when he was born. But um, this is so encouraging to hear that, you know, it's still a possibility as the kids get older, because um, I'm thinking that, oh, they've missed their, missed their chance. So this really gives me some hope uh, about that. So did you question, did your wife go to a traditional infant massage class with infant babies? Like how, how did that happen? Yeah, well, uh, and it's a it's a, a brilliant thing that you the, that you bring this up. Uh, the techniques uh, for older kids are as as helpful as they are for babies. Like the the connection, the the how they can relax with this is, is as special and is as important. And it, that's why we added the stories because the, the stories help older kids to to welcome this in their routine. They 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 love listening to stories. So it's a uh, and we have some music in the background. So we really create this uh, moment that uh, even 12 year olds, uh, 10 year olds enjoy. Um, and yeah, Daniela, um, she uh, went to a, a certified uh, class in, in, and learned these techniques with uh, babies. Um, um, it's a shame that she's not here with us. She, she would be able to tell you more. She took a, a year long uh, course in, in Australia and she has been learning more and taking more classes since then. Uh, but one of the most recent um, courses that she, she took was a uh, massage in, 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 in games and how to make this more um, appealing to the senses in older kids. So using rubber balls and using toys and using a car to, to tell the story with a massage technique so, or feathers or things like that to, to stimulate senses. And, um, but yeah, in, in, in essentially, the techniques are, are pretty similar, and we keep uh, researching on this with our scientific board right now for, for the company. So, Francisco, so in Francisco I have a quick um, comment because we're going to have to wrap it up very soon. I wanted to also thank you because what an amazing story and how wonderful that you did this with your children as they got older. Like Anne Marie says, we can start at any time and it doesn't, you know, we're, we're so conditioned to say, to think that it needs to be an infant, right? So I'm really impressed. Um, there are some questions relating to your app and I think that th those might be better answered directly to you. So is there a contact info for people who want to ask you more directly about the app? And also um, I wanted to uh, invite both of you to become certified educators in infant massage. I think you both would be amazing. I went and had that. I actually became certified a couple of years ago, way later in life. My daughters are 20 and 24, but I did it because I want to do this in the future. You know, like it's so, mm -hmm. so meaningful to me. So um, I hope you and Danny will think about becoming certified as well. Um, so is this your contact info? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we, we have to get certified in the U.S. That's something that it's a, a priority for us. So you'll be hearing more from us really, yeah. really soon. And here's our, our contact info. Uh, you Please feel free to reach out, even just to say hi. We are more than happy to keep meeting people who take this to, to more parents. So yeah, again, thank you so much. 
that's very, very exciting. We are so impressed by you, impressed by Danny, just everything that you've done to, to bring nurturing touch to the surface as you know, a father and a mother, which is amazing because I, I love that you both found a way to make it through all of the stressors in life, right? Um, especially now that we've gone through the pandemic, I'm sure we're all learning new ways to cope. Okay, so before I say goodbye to Francisco, anybody have any other thoughts or, or questions or anything that anybody else would like to say? I have a couple of closing things I need to do, but I want to open it up in case there's somebody else who has any other questions. As maybe the only other man in the room, I really appreciate you being the one representing. Uh, I'm, I'm a trainer and I could... Uh, if I train 300 people a year, I'm lucky if I get five men. So I think it's so important as a model, as a role model, that you are there, you're supportive, you're obviously very, very engaged. So thank you. Thanks so much, Mike. I can resonate with your words. And yeah, thanks so much. Thank you. Oh, I have a question. Um, I had to take a phone call and I missed um, uh, the, the I, I saw the beginning and I missed the, the, the meat of your talk. And I have a three-year-old granddaughter that I want to um, use and, and help. And I just downloaded the app, but is this gonna be recorded so we can watch it over? It is recorded and you can contact Sharice and uh, get that information from her. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Well, thank you again, Francisco, Daniela, even though she's only, she's here in spirit. Uh, I would love to meet her. I'm very impressed by both of you and all that you have done in your very young lives. Thank you very much. And remember everybody, you can make a difference when it matters most. Infant massage is an effective, inexpensive and simple solution to help prevent many community issues by focusing first on family level interactions, just like we heard from Francisco today. Remember that we want you to consider making a donation. Uh, please go to Infant Massage, www.infantmassageusa.org forward slash season of nurturing and don't, and there's a donate button at the top. I want to share just a couple of stories of a few. They're very, very short, a minute, you know, so that you can hear from other uh, very impressive families and um, certified infant massage uh, uh, professionals. So let's begin. Let me share my screen. Hi, my name is Molly Patterson and I am a newborn infant massage parent instructor with Infant Massage USA. And today I get to share with you my journey into becoming an instructor and why I feel so strongly in the benefits of this class for parents and their babies. So I'm also a postpartum doula. And as a postpartum doula, I spend time with families and their little ones in those first weeks and months and maybe even a year after that baby's born. And I've gotten to listen to them talk about their hopes and their desires as parents to have confidence, to have connection, to be able to bring release from stress to their little ones. And I began looking for tools to help that process, to help bring that information into the hands of families. And I found those tools with Infant Massage USA. I found research to back up the importance and the benefits of newborn infant massage for families and for their babies. And then I found training to become an instructor. Since then, I have taught classes to families, and I have watched the aha moments for parents as they realize and gain confidence in helping and supporting their babies. I've watched babies melt under the nurturing touch of their parents. It has been exciting and ex inspiring to me personally to watch the connections develop, to hear stories of babies who are falling asleep, who are being relieved of stress and colic and indigestion and constipation, to see families 
be inspired to bring that same nurturing touch to other children in their families, to know that they can bring this massage to not only their babies as infants and newborns, but as they grow developmentally to continue to bring nurturing touch and gentle massage to their lives of their children. I love that I get to do this. I'm honored that I get to do this. And I look forward to bringing it to more families. Thank you so much. Okay. That was Molly. And here's a parent, Daphne. Hello, my name is Daphne Crawford, and I'm coming to you to talk about infant massage and the difference it's made in our family. A few weeks into having our son, Tristan, we felt like we might be experiencing the early stages of colic. And our midwife said, um, have you thought about infant massage? It's really great for that, and it would help a lot. You need to contact Molly. And I said, oh, actually, Molly and I are already talking on Facebook about that and how we should take the course. So I contacted Molly and said, we need your class. Please sign us up. Um, whatever we need to do, let's do it. So we signed up and took the five-week course. And in the first week, she teaches gas and colic relief. And that right there made a huge difference in our life and Tristan's life. Um, he was much more relaxed, didn't seem to be experiencing that and just was just completely chill through all of it. And um, even in weeks after I've noticed as we took the class and we took the procedure and just built on that every week, it made a huge difference in his life and in ours as to how he was just fully relaxing into every moment of it. So um, new parents with new babies, I can't say enough, Take the infant massage class, do it for you, do it for your baby. It's amazing the connection and the gift of touch that is shared between each other. Um, I definitely highly recommend this class and would tell any new parent you should do it. So do it for you and for your baby. Such amazing, heartfelt stories it just warms my heart we have um so many amazing stories and so many amazing people all right one more story let me get that give me a second <clears throat> any questions by the way if you put them in the chat we have the opportunity to answer them sharice is helping me thank you sharice this way we can um answer those questions if you have or you want to know about uh, a class in your area okay here's one of our um certified educators in infant massage and her name is Cherise. No, my internet's very slow today. I don't know what's going on. Okay, there we go. Hello. How are you? My name is Sharice. I am the Minister of Family Development for Calvary United Methodist Church in Flint, Michigan. I'm also a mom. There was a question that was asked in... Um, the beginning part of our training. And it basically talks about what is a nurturing touch. I've never had a problem with showing emotion. I never had a problem with um, being available to my children. But there was a time where life began to be hard and I just didn't, um, I felt like I wasn't doing a good job as a mom. But lo and behold, it asks, what is the journey of your um, 
infant massage? What is the journey? What is the journey like since you started infant massage? What I can say is, is that you never know what you know until you're allowed to, to use what you've learned. And I think that's one of the best parts to infant massage is that parents will be able to utilize what they learn. When my children were younger, um, we played a lot. Uh, I ran a daycare in my home, so there was a lot of activity a lot of the times. But I also had children that were from different backgrounds and different um, upbringing. So they literally brought what they had from home to me, really, right? They brought what they saw. They brought what they heard. And there was one little boy who really just did not like anyone to be around me because I was his mysteries. And that meant that if he was around me, no one could play with me. No one could sit in my lap. No one could be in front of me. And I really believe that that had a lot to do with him feeling safe where he was. But one day um, we were playing and all of the children were playing and he got really upset and he started to push like my stomach, like push. And I said, hey, I said, I don't like that. That, that hurts me. I, why are you hitting me in my stomach? And he said, because you're my friend and because I care for you. And I said, well, that hurts me. I said, I don't think that people that care for you will hit you in your stomach. And he said, well, that's what happens at my house. So I had to have a conversation. And this is not your normal story, but it is pertaining to touch, how negative touch can be um, impactful just as well as positive touch. There was a conversation had, and there was some um, restructure of how I did some things with him, but ultimately he learned how to um, touch in a more positive way with um, a bunny. We had a bunny that came from school with one of the children, and I was not really enthused about that. But the children love this particular thing. Now, this was just a day and a half or so because the bunny went home with the student that um, brought it with them. But he was very intrigued. And me, I was very concerned because uh, Bunny and because of what had happened with me. But when I talked to him and I told him that you, you sit down next to the student who has the Bunny and you can rub the Bunny softly, that you can say, nice Bunny, hi Bunny, how are you today, Bunny? And that's exactly what he did. He rubbed the bunny. He told the bunny how nice he was and how pretty he was. And it was such an awesome thing to see. To see him in a different light, to see him calm, to see him happy, and also to see him wanting to be um, in a place where um, there was a calmness, right? What I've learned on my journey of, with infant massage is, is that touch is very important and that it helps the development of a child's brain. And it also helps them to be able to thrive. I hope that during this time that you take the necessary steps to learn more about infant massage and about what it, um, it's what it's necessary for, and that is to build up relationships with families and their children. So remember, I'm Minister Sharif. I am coming to you from Calvary United Methodist Church here in Flint, Michigan, and we are incorporating a infant massage program within our church. Thank you for letting me talk to you and tell you my story pertaining to infant massage. 
and knowing that one person can change the thought process of another just by showing kindness and showing the proper way to touch. Take care. Bye. I love her story. All right. Actually, we do have a little bit of time and I could show one more before we say goodbye. Um, any questions, thoughts, anybody have anything they'd like to add? I've got a question. Yes. Um, I have uh, been an infant massage instruct instructor since 2003. And I have struggled with, I'm in the Midwest and that says a lot. So I have struggled with marketing, with providing infant massage um, in this market. I have uh, off and on been able to give instruction and it has been very well received. Um, there was a lot of benefit from it, but I was wondering, and, and the thing of it is, which is really kind of uh, a misnomer is that it's not that the benefits of infant massage is not known in the Midwest, and but it's not in my head, it's just not valued to where, uh, you, you know, people will pay for it. That's what I'm going to say, because that's the truth. And so I was wondering if um, anyone had any ideas or had any success in areas where um, massage is just not as readily um, used. Hmm. Well, let me, um, I'm going to defer that question to Cherise, um, because maybe what we could do is connect you up with somebody else in the Midwest who is also out in that area. Um, what do you think, Cherise? Well, um, this is my first time doing it. I've uh, actually connected with our local um, like pediatricians and um, care facilities, and and the the what is what is in the process of, of happening is is connecting with them so they will pay for their patients to get the the training right. Um, so when new moms come about, because we're a a, a faith based area and because we're um in the middle of the city it it's just really a good opportunity and because of what's happening right now in our world with the pandemic and being able to show families how to do things to incorporate more of an attachment more of a care um and and, and that's what the emphasis i believe should be that you put more of a, a emphasis on the care and of the 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 nurture and, and what is um, needed for it and why it's important to have it, especially right now. Um, a lot of parents in my area are losing custody of children because of anger and a lot of those kind of things. So when you talk about those things and you you have something that shows them, I mean, kind of like what I talked about pertaining to the little boy, you know things happen and parents don't know what to do. But when you give them information and give them insight on how to be successful as a parent and nurturing touch is one of those things because um, as, as we learned in our class, it goes beyond a um, massage. It's a hand on the shoulder just to know that you are there. You know, I'll never forget that Miss Justice, Miss Justine is, was my, um, my instructor and um, and, and it's just some certain things that you can utilize even as you as they're older, right? So you want to incorporate those things too. I hope I answered your question. And um, I, I am available to talk. I, I like that. That's the well, note I, I like. To I put my contact information in the in the chat uh, as a direct okay. to Sharice. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much because that no, gives us no a good life you know, like experience of what you're going through as well. Also, don't forget everybody, if you're a member, you have access to the resources on our member portal. So you have to log in. There are lots of marketing and business resources that you can get from that website, from that part of the, of the website. 
I also think that connecting, um, coming to our, you know, uh, our, our lunchtime, you know, speakers, I think you're going to hear more and more ideas. We have a lot of seasoned people that attend and that are here today. So if anybody wants to jump in, we have about two or three more minutes. I wanted to give everybody an opportunity if there's somebody else who may want to say something. Um, I appreciate you uh, sharing. Um, I'd just like to share really quickly. Uh, I am so, uh, even though I haven't used my certification to be very active in teaching, I, I cannot express the depth of the power of healing and the impact of touch. You know, when I was giving birth of, for twins, um, I felt very alone. I, I was in a bad marriage and um, a resident came by and just touched my leg maybe 10 seconds, but that touch conveyed so much care and concern. I still viscerally, 37 years later, remember that experience of that resident touching my leg for 10, 20 seconds, whatever it was. It still brings me to tears. Um, the impact of touch could just not be emphasized enough. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Anne-Marie, for sharing that personal connection. You're absolutely right. I think we all remember back to those moments where this whole idea of infant massage, the nurturing aspect of it, the support we get, the, the feeling of just being a successful parent. I remember, you know, having that, you know, difficulty in just soothing your own child and, and being able to learn this really gave me that what I needed, this, the feel of self-efficacy as a parent. So thank you for sharing that. Thank you for coming today. I once again, of course, encourage you to be part of, join um, Infant Massage USA, take our course and become certified, spread the wealth. I mean, this is where we give back. I feel like now that I'm nearing my retirement years, my gift is to give back these classes and I, I teach infant massage to adolescent parents. So you can imagine how stressful their lives are. They're 15, 16, 17 years old and they have no idea what's going on and they are so committed. So I encourage you, you know, to, to get this gift, with, which is how I view it, and then share it with others and find ways to do it creatively so you can get some compensation and be able to do it. Um, so connect with um, our, um, all our, our colleagues. You can actually go also on Infant Massage USA and contact our trainers and ask for ideas and suggestions. So <clears throat> with that, our executive, um, uh, our, one of our executives who's here, Sharice, I just want to make sure I covered everything and that we are where we need to be so that I can say goodbye to everybody. You did. Thank you so much, Diana. And thank you, everyone, um, for joining us today. All right. And again, thank you to Francisco Cornejo for his wonderful talk. And we will see everybody hopefully tomorrow and that you will join us for our lunch break story tomorrow at one. And we will have Kayati Desai Seltzer. And she sounds like she's an amazing story herself. So I hope to see you all tomorrow. Have a great rest of the day. And thanks again for your participation and your wonderful questions. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks, Diana. You are welcome, Justine. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Go Buckeyes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, nice to see a man here very yeah. nice with a baby with a baby in the background yeah that's <laughs> wonderful uh, yeah sean thank you folks thanks it's uh, wonderful thank you thank you bye everyone ashley do you have a minute and sharice Yeah, I'll hang up. Okay. Hi. Oh, I, uh, she, sorry, I meant Ashley from Infant <laughs> Massage. But Ashley, thank you oh. for coming.
everything. I appreciate it. Okay, thank Ashley's you. Ashley's and so many Cherie's. <laughs> okay, I, I was talking to somebody named Cherie. Yeah, yes. that's Cherie. me. Yeah, we're getting confused with all the Ashley's and Cherie's. We have two Cherie's and two Ashley's, different spellings. <laughs> A little bit of everything so i have to actually remember that it's not there's not just one <laughs> okay thank That's, you coming back tomorrow uh i hope to yay i can't wait to see you thank all right you. well have a great day you too bye-bye bye and then we've got sylvia do you have a question sylvia or sue <laughs> Away. Yeah, maybe they did. Okay. <clears throat> just wanted a quick recap. Sorry, I just beginning forgot about sharing my screen. Talk about being a little nervous. <clears throat>